Vito, how are you? My name is Christine Lopez. So good to talk to you. No, for sure. Thank you guys for, uh, you know, coming on here and conversing with me, for sure. A absolutely. So um, whenever you got the call that you were going to be on the Canelo undercard, what kind of emotions did you go through? Because that that's that's huge. And this is a step up for you. So this is a big deal. Yeah, for sure. Um, Obviously, being without him and um, he puts me on the biggest cards possible all the time. So um, I'm extremely blessed. But fighting on Cinco de Mayo weekend is like a dream of mine. I always used to watch the fights on Cinco de Mayo week, uh, weekend. Um, I always used to fall asleep before the main event, sometimes even when I was really younger. But, um, yeah, it's like it's a dream come true. So I'm just excited to take it all in, enjoy the experience, and uh, dominate on May 4th. Yes, congratulations to that. Yep. Nika, you. you got some stuff for him, too. Um, yeah, so, you know, I'm not really like the... Hi, Nika. I'm like the crazy one. How you doing? I'm good. How are <laughs> so, you? I'm good. Um, I wanted to know, because, uh, you know, social media is a big part of boxing now. And, you know, if you had the chance to log into a burner account and nobody knew it was you, and you were going to talk some trash and introduce the world <laughs> to you, what would you say in the tweet? About me? Yes, about you. Like, nobody um, knows it's you tweeting. It's from a burner account, and it's going to go viral. <laughs> what would you let the world know about you? I'm not even going to lie. I don't know how to talk. I don't talk a lot of <laughs> smack, but um, I don't know. I think that's what makes me me is just the fact that I'm real humble, that I stay true to myself regardless of what's going on around me. Um, I don't change, but I don't really know what I would say. I would just say, I don't know. I'm I'm the hardest worker in boxing. Um, I'm consistent and I'm extremely blessed. There's not really much more I could say. I'm just happy to be doing what I love. And, um, I think my name will be, be a household name soon. Just got to keep taking our time, keep growing. And, uh, yeah, this has been my dream since I'm seven years old. So, uh, just seeing everything unfold right in front of me, um, it's a, it's a dream come true. And I'm just extremely blessed. That's fabulous. So speaking of social media, I saw that one of your sponsors is OnlyFans. So what does your family <laughs> think about that? I mean, what's going on on your OnlyFans? I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're interested. No, you got to subscribe to find out. No, I'm it's, it's, all, it's all boxing. I knew it. It's all, it's all boxing content, but, um, yeah, all boxing content, all training, all behind the scenes. Um, OnlyFans has been a part of my team for like two years now, two or three years now. So, uh, I'm blessed to have them in my corner. And, uh, yeah, they take good care of me, obviously, but really just giving my, my supporters more of an exclusive outlook on what goes on throughout my training camp, uh, in terms of my diet, um, my personal life, recovery, all that kind of stuff. So things that you don't really see on the, mainstream social media is something you'll see differently on uh only fans okay all right yeah um so a lot of champions have had a loss on their record so what are your thoughts on some of the fighters that don't want to take these hard fights because they're scared to lose their own yeah i think for me it's been a little different um uh, my loss came obviously early on um more of a, it was a, the best thing that's probably ever happened to me in my career um changed me as a person as a as an athlete um just taught me a lot of valuable lessons inside and outside the ring so but for me like i said any other night for me i like me at my the top of my game uh being a prepared being prepared on fight night i think i would have handled business in there that that night but that didn't happen so you don't make no excuses um just got to learn from what happened that night and uh, keep pushing forward. But in terms of making the big fights happen, I think you're starting to see that more often. These guys not worrying about, you know, more or less of that pressure of holding their O, the, their undefeated record, and making these big fights, as you saw with Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney. Uh, mm -hmm. They made that happen. Obviously, Ryan had a, a loss too, but they're making big fights happen now. So a lot of guys are stepping up and uh, putting their, their O on the line. Yeah. For sure. Uh, working with Ronnie Shields, what are some of the things that he's taught you that just stick out in your mind? Yeah, I think Ronnie, the most important thing with Ronnie is how consistent he is. Uh, the gym's open at a time. My my workouts are consistent. You do the same thing repetitiously over and over and over again. Um, 
listen, you're gonna you're gonna become good at it. So mastering fundamentals. Obviously, I have Ronnie. I have my coach Anthony Carr here with me as well. Um, my father, who's a big part of my career. So we have a great team. Um, and listen, I'm I'm blessed, just extremely blessed to be in the position I am. I want you to kind of expound a little bit on the repetition, um, because, you know, a lot of people, they'll go into the gym. And they're like, oh, my gosh, you know, the coach has me doing the same thing over and over again. I want to get in the ring. I want to start sparring. Um, yeah. What is the importance of the repetition? Yeah, I think um, just like I said, being consistent, like having a, a workout that you uh, like a routine every day. And if you do that over and over for months, for years it starts, you just start to build, like you just start to, you continue to build one block on top and uh, on top of another. So um, just look, mastering your fund fundamentals at the end of the day, when you get in those later rounds, I've been in 10 rounders um, already before. So I know what your body feels like in those later rounds. And it all goes back to your fundamentals and who's mastered their fundamentals better. Obviously your body gets a little more fatigued later on in fights and you turn back to what you do best, and that should be your fundamentals. Mm -hmm. So mastering your fundamentals and being repetitious about everything is is important for sure. Absolutely. So yeah. I saw your tweet um, out that sitting in silence for 20 minutes a day is very therapeutic. And I agree. And when I do that, it's because the thoughts in my head are very loud. So in those mm -hmm. 20 minutes where you're sitting in silence, what are the thoughts in your head? Uh more of like visualization of everything that it could be about my fight. It could be about life. It could be about things that I'm going through on a daily basis. And it gives you like, a, it clears your mind. I feel like, and I'm very big on manifestation. I'm big on putting things out into the universe and then coming back journaling. I'm very big on as well. And I think your mind is the most important thing. So um if you could callous your mind and, and strengthen your mind to that ability of being, being able to be alone but not feel lonely. Um, mm -hmm. I think I like that. That's a that's a big uh, you know take a big leap as a person. I really like that. You know, you... Long... go ahead. Let go ahead, Christy. <laughs> no, you go ahead. I, I was gonna I was gonna kind of piggyback off of you, but you go ahead and then I'll pick. No, mine was gonna be. I want to. I know he's from Jersey, and so uh, I want to know: Are you a Knicks fan? Or are you a Nets fan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a. I, I... If anything, I I like the Knicks, but I'm a Thunder fan. I I've loved the Thunder since I'm a kid. I would I've I liked KD, Westbrook, Harden. I love that era of the Thunder. But uh, we're looking good right now, up two zero. So we'll see what happens. I know we got a young squad, but we're looking good. <laughs> I like that. So I was kind of gonna piggyback off of Nika. So um, and about the meditation. So fight night. You know what what's going on in your locker room? Is there silence? Is there music? Um, what are you doing to prepare yourself mentally to get out there on the big stage? No, definitely music. Um, I love music, especially when I'm working out. But, um, yeah, just more of the less when I'm, a, like, when I'm just in my room hanging out, chilling throughout camp and just on a daily basis, like, not more, like, not in the gym. That's like a time, like, the mental and getting your mental right afterwards outside the gym. And sitting in silence, that's when I usually do it inside the gym. I'm very upbeat. I'm very, you know, just in my element. So I got the music on, just working. So in that fight night, the locker room will have a lot of energy. And uh, I feel like that's how it's got to be. Um, everybody's energy transfers to each other. So everybody will be ready to go. That's, you know, music. Let me finish this line for me. Let me see how good you are with music. <laughs> All right. Young Vito, voice. Who? Young Vito, voice of. Young Vito, voice of what? See, you can't finish it. That's a that's you a gotta finish it. That's a Jay Z song. <laughs> it's, it's supposed to, it's a, you're supposed to finish it. Young Vito, voice of the young people. That's it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll give you a pass on that. We'll give you a pass. Yeah. Put you on the spot. So, um, May fourth, we believe you know. You're going to get your hand raised. Shortly after that, on May 10th, you have a big celebration, right? The 22nd yeah. birthday. <laughs> so what are you going to be doing that day? How are you going to celebrate? I mean, that's going to be a double celebration in my books. Yeah. Um. 
We'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I haven't been with my family in like eight weeks, so because I've been down in Houston, I've been away from my family. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Obviously, we'll handle business on May fourth. Focus on that right now. But after that, um, I'm sure we'll set something up. Me, and my family, um, and everybody else around us, you know, set something up, celebrate. But yeah, what what are you gonna be eating? Oh, uh, pasta. I'm Italian, so. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna ask right. you. That was one of my questions. I was gonna no, say, sorry. since you're Italian, <laughs> do you make your own pasta sauce, or who's the best pasta sauce maker in your family? And on pizza, since you're new, you're from oh, New Jersey. Oh yeah, I love pizza too. What yeah. do you put on your pizza? <laughs> like a real New Yorker doesn't really put that much stuff on their pizza, but I want to know what you put on your pizza. <laughs> yeah, I'm plain too. I like plain yeah, pizza. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Jersey, there's a place called Ralph's Pizzeria in Nutley. Um, I think some of the best pizza, so I'll probably be in there. I love pizza. I love pasta. Um, yeah, so my mom makes the Sunday gravy every every Sunday, so uh, mm, I'm excited. All right. So you, you know you have to learn that recipe, right? Like, I'll yeah. never be able to learn it like her. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> oh, okay, so uh, one, one more question for me. Uh, so... Canelo and Mugia, like we won't tell anybody who you're picking, but who do you got against <laughs> those two fight night? Uh, I think it's a great fight. I think it'll be a classic. Obviously, go down as a classic. Two guys that'll lay it all on the line. But I think Canelo's offense and is will be too much for some of the things that I see, the holes that I've seen in def in Mugia's defense. But I think it'll be a great fight. I think it'll go down in the history books. Two guys that'll lay it all on the line and a Mexican warrior classic. I'm excited, but uh, I'll, I'll have to pick Canelo. I'm a Canelo fan as well. So I'll probably go with Canelo. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So I, I just um, want to wish you good luck. Um, I know this fight is on the fourth. I don't know if you're a Star Wars fan, but you know, may the fourth be with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> And, and thank you so much for, for letting us have some time with you. Um, before we let you go, what is something that um, you want the fans out there to know? Why should they tune in to you? Yeah, tune in. All my uh, supporters around the world, everybody tune in. You're not going to want to miss it. You know, it's my first fight uh, fighting on Prime, so I expect to put on a great show, a dominant performance for you guys, and uh, put all my hard work to work on May 4th. All right. Absolutely. We will be here. tuned in. And we, yeah, again, exciting. we thank you so much for this interview. And we thank PBC. We love the things that are coming and things that are yeah. going yeah. on. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Have, Have a good, good day. day. Yep, yeah, you too. Thanks.